Hello, you are watching Aaj Tak AI and I am Aaj Tak's AI anchor Sana. I will introduce you to the big news of the world. Let's have a look at the international headlines. Ship carrying 3000 cars burns off Dutch coast on Wednesday, killing one person and injuring several others. The fire began on Tuesday night on the 199 meter Panama registered Fremantle Highway, which was en route from Germany to Egypt, forcing several crew members to jump overboard. LeBron James Jr., the son of the NBA star LeBron James, suffered a cardiac arrest while practicing at the University of Southern California in Los Angeles on Monday. He was taken to the hospital for treatment in the intensive care unit. 18-year-old Ronnie James is now in stable condition and no longer in the ICU. He is the eldest of the LeBron James's three children. The US Department of Education has launched a civil rights investigation into Harvard University's policies on legacy admissions. The department's office for civil rights opened the probe following a complaint filed earlier this month by three civil rights groups who argued that Harvard's preference for legacy undergraduate applicants overwhelmingly benefits white students in violation of a federal civil rights law. Natwist CEO Alison Rose stepped down with immediate effect on Wednesday after she admitted to a serious error of judgment in discussing former Brexit party leader Nigel Farage's relationship with the bank with a BBC journalist. Aided by local residents, hundreds of Portuguese firefighters scrambled on Tuesday to put out flames sweeping across a natural park near the popular holiday destination of Cascais. Strong winds complicated efforts to tackle the blaze. The wildfire started at 5 p.m. in a mountainous area that is part of the Sintra Cascais Natural Park, which covers around 145 square kilometers of land and is located west of the capital Lisbon. After years of pandemic isolation, North Korea has invited its friends back this week. hosting senior chinese and russian delegations for 70th anniversary commemorations of the korean war and the struggle against the united states and its allies the visiting dignitaries are expected to be presented with one of north korea's signature events a massive military parade showcasing its latest weaponry